Hello from Washington, D.C. Hello from the blue speckled walls of my hotel room. So I've been doing a lot of traveling recently and for the past three years. So I figured I would give you some tips that I have found when living in a hotel for so many days in a row. Like I'm standing in front of my couch, but not sitting on it. Because they can't sanitize those things. Here you go, information for you when staying in a hotel. Okay, so the first thing I do when I come in a room is I find a place to put my bag that is not carpet. Luckily, my entryway has this handy little dandy tile stuff. The reason you want to do that is because the next thing you're going to do is go to check for bed bugs. So, bed bugs can be anywhere. Any nice place can have them. This one does not. We're good. An easy way to check is to look in the corners of the room and see if there are any brownish reddish stains because honestly it's bad news bears if there's any of those. You can also go and check the drawers wherever drawers may be found and look in the corners of drawers. Bed bugs are big on corners and see again if there are any reddish brown stains because those are the leftover bits of their decaying bodies. The last thing you want to check is the bed. You can check the headboard. There's, if you're getting a new bed, there's a whole other deal. But in a hotel, it's normally sufficient. Just look at the corner and you're going to look at the seam of the mattress down in there. And you're again looking for those reddish brown stains. They're not there. You're good to go. I don't have any tips for hotel bathrooms, which I'll cover in packing, except that you should steal all their toiletries. Like, this one has Q-tips, and that's really exciting. I don't have a lot of packing advice other than recommending that you get a really good carry-on size bag for um, day trips. You can also use them. I've used this like one bag for a five-night trip, and the tip that I have is keep all your toiletries in one bag, because if they spill, you don't want to have to deal with that. Them's my shoes. Them's my work computer. Um, and I, as you can see, clearly don't care much about packing too much. I only have two days worth of stuff in here. But the tip I have is to re-wear things and to bring multi-purpose garments, such as jeans. Nice pair of dark wash jeans, gonna get you places in the world. I also bring my own shampoo and conditioner because I like smelling like myself, but I put it in the front um, shoe pocket because I have like two pairs of shoes on visits. I limit those kinds of things. Um, so I do that. Um, so I can then steal all the hotel toiletries for when I run out of my own shampoo and conditioner at home. I also keep useful things in my front pocket like an extra USB charger for my phone and bottle opener that I bought on Ocracoke Island. It's a shark. <laughs> Figured I'd go out and see what some nature looked like. Look at this. Look at all this nature. Look at all the spring stuff. Ugh. Like what even? I found a dandelion. <gasps> all right, this is me and my lady face bow tie coffee cup signing off, saying that I will see you on the first.